what do you mean you're annoyed? I literally just set those up yesterday. I, I Come on, man. I mean, look. We're starting to get some money. Yes, I know I'm blowing the budget at times on excess, but come on. I mean, we've got industry set up everywhere. I've told you several times. This takes time to just develop and grow. Yes, I know the profits haven't been satisfactory, but come on, man. Can you just give me a... Yeah, they didn't buy it. Oh, these shareholder pro meetings. No, it's no wonder I don't like them. Hi everyone, it's Morgoth the Barbarian here, and welcome to the 15th episode of our City Skylings playthrough. Yes, it really is, we're rolling along with this series. It just seems like we started this yesterday. Speaking of starting, we finally got our first oil, iron, and forestry areas. So we are welling our way to industrializing this whole landscape. Yes, that might sound bad, but, you know, when you're trying to make $1 million in weekly income, you kind of have no choice, okay? So right now, we're just sitting back and waiting for these to get up to level 5, so we can put these all over the place. For the time being, though, we've got some other projects on the uh, back burner, though. So, of course, hit those like and subscribe buttons, as always, and with that being said, let's see what we're dealing with here. So, I mentioned earlier, we're trying to get all of the um, industrial areas to at least level 5, or at least the initial ones first. Do that by getting workers and resources. Well, right now, the oil area is the only one that's even close. Actually, this one's very close to level 3. Hmm, intriguing. Yeah, none of them are close, as you can kind of tell. Realistically, the only thing we can do is, like, farming, but we've had this since the very beginning, like, episode one or two. Apparently there's high crime in the area. Okay, that's a little weird. Cows must be stealing all the food. But, gold, that is clearly not what we're trying to do. Okay, one second. There we go. I'm hitting all sorts of long buttons. We try and industrialize all of this as much as we can. But, unfortunately, this is literally the only thing we can do. So we're just going to try and wait and sit back and wait for our areas to reach level 5, and then this will go down a lot quicker than what it is already. Oh good, I see the unlimited ore and iron is working the way it intended to. I remember one playthrough got turned off, but anyways, that's not important. In the meantime, there are some things we need to do. Like, for instance, um... Well, that's gonna cause some issues at my next shareholder meeting. Uh-oh. Oh, well. So one idea what, what thing that we're gonna do today is I'm finally, for the first time in this series, gonna break out the airport DLC. Because I want to apply the same thinking to an airport and I just, just the space for it. Now, I did say I would do an airport over here. My plan is to do a cargo airport in this space, so we're going to use this as a quote-unquote passenger airport. No shame in having two. One for um, passengers or city's residents and one for our industry. That one's definitely going to be a big help, especially with our... Um, Harbor District being over here, which, as you can see, we've got it all set up for when that day finally comes. That is not going to happen. However, we need to get our airport to level 5 since the same amount of thinking happens, so we will be doing that later. But before I begin any of that, we got to get our mass transit ready, specifically our trains. Whoa! Okay, that's going to make them... Happy. And for the first time, I believe we are up above 100,000. Yeah, that's definitely not going to get to a million, let alone 200 grand, but eh, close enough. That, that is some encouragement. We are doing well. We're on the right track. Excellent. I love to see it. 
Uh, let me bring you over to this area if my computer would let me. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, boy. I'm going to have to save more often. My game is going to do that thing where it starts crashing. Where in the world? Oh, my God. I am lost. Oh, boy. Stand by. we got technical difficulties. <laughs> there it is. There's. This is the spot I wanted to focus on. Okay. That, that, that took long enough. Apparently, I was losing my way. This took a while to build out. And the main reason being is that for some weird reason, I don't know why, but the game would not let me do these intersections. It gets really picky when you build these out. Because if you don't build it correctly... I was wondering why the game was having some more issues there. Okay, it's trying to mess with me. We're off to a great start. If you look carefully, you can kind of see these intersections. Well, for some weird reason, when I was initially building, it would just have the trains mysteriously, tracks mysteriously end here. And the end result it was just, the game couldn't read that, and for some reason it wouldn't let me utilize train routes. In fact, this got so bad that I was actually in the middle of recording this episode and then had to delete the whole thing and restart just because of this issue. In fact, this took me a good hour just to double check on every single junction that we were having to make sure. Like, oh, I missed one. So this is what I was talking about right here. See this? This is exactly what I was talking about. The game would not recognize that for whatever random reason. I don't know if it, was, it has to do with the, um, like some sort of bug or how the train game reads like train things over here. But this is kind of what I was talking about. And so I had to basically do this. Set it until the game finally realized what I was trying to do over here. Uh-oh. All right, bust out the Anarchy mod. This is exactly why we have this. Um, and do it, and do it like so. And now, as you can see, there we go. Now the game recognizes that the train tracks are connected. Hold on. Okay, I was just checking to make sure I had these in the right direction. <laughs> and would you look at that? Apparently, this was the only intersection I did not do this for. I don't know why. Hold on, I'll try to do it without anarchy here. But that's the long story short. It took me an hour to do this, and I see it's still having issues. There we go. Uh, let me check to make sure this whole intersection's okay. Hang on a second. Um, that's fine. Final look at... I can't see this too well. No, I don't think this is um, there either. Hang on. Oh, always something with this game. I swear to God. <laughs> but this was causing me a lot of grief. As you can probably tell. There we go. And I believe we are all set. Yeah. So, of course, naturally, as you can see, I had to use the Anarchy mod to do it, but uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> but that was the issue that was facing every single junction. Like, this one was just a mess. Yes, this is even more of a mess than it was. Um, and I even threw up a new station over here for our um, heavier industrial residential district. This isn't a heavy industrial. That doesn't exist. Kinda. But as you can also see, and I don't remember if this is from shown in the last episode, we've got train networks all over the place. Like the main idea was to have cargo train stations next to all of our industrial di districts as well as c residential. I might it, hmm, have to do a second one for over here, but that's okay. Now that we've gotten that option thing fixed, and hopefully that it works... Let's begin by getting our train network set up, and this can kind of be the, and then we can work, focus on the airport. So this is not a metro line whatsoever. So I would like to have 
you know, our trains kind of run. So let's see. So let's start with the easiest over here. Do this one. I'm assuming. Aha, there we go. I'm just going to make sure we're, we've got that red. And there we go. That's kind of the general idea to have train lines all around. So we'll have one over here. We'll have one go from our main station over here. And as long as it's doing that, I feel fine putting these in. Uh, we'll... Hmm. Well, that's just nice. I guess we have an error over here. That's um, awesome. No biggie. We can just ignore that one for right now, I guess, until I fix that. Or do kind of a local one. I suppose there's no shame in doing that either. All right, whatever. We can do a local one. I don't mind. We'll, we'll, we'll address that later on. Tiss, tiss, tiss the game. Um... I know we've got this end platform station, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Let's just focus on the um, outer industrial line over here. One that goes over here. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, we have an error. Ah, I lo you love to see that. I don't know what happened here. All right, so the general idea is to have one go over here and go around. Okay, so we'll, we'll have to deal with that later. Some of these, I'll, I'll go behind the scenes and kind of fix this a little bit. And finally, we need one. I guess we'll have one go around and start. Hold on. have one go around this way um once again i'll have to figure out why these train lines are doing what they're doing could just be how they're set up I, for not for nothing All right, good to know I missed a whole bunch of junctions. So another 15 minutes later, and all of a sudden I have everything, like, fixed. So now we've got our train lines, and now hopefully they will start rolling. And look at that. Passenger rail service is finally all over the place. So that should be all set, or at least so we hope. As you can see, our money just went down like crazy from that little salvo, but so be it. Um, plus one more little... I see there's still a lot of death over here. Are we really partying that hard? Okay, fine. We'll put another crematorium. Happy? There you go. Okay. So yeah, we will keep that rolling for right now. So now that we've got our train line set up, and, uh, and I will adjust them as time goes by as that's not ob obviously not the end of it um let's see we're in need of more um commercial space over here so i guess i'll give the people what they want really quick on a few areas of the map here specifically this that I suppose I can expand this a little bit. Again, we still have plenty of room to expand, so I will slowly build this out. But it's going to take some more time before I'm all set over here. But we will let our city just build out. And so, next, let's see. Any other small little projects need help? Let's see. Trash is good, kind of good over here. That's low value. All right, I guess at this point, we're just waiting for our industrial areas to perk up. Oh, I see we've got some more death over here. 
or Doom. Oh, that could be because I don't really have any more. All right, I suppose I can put in a local cemetery. Sure, why not? And just double checking everything over here. Um, put in the fire and the police station right across the street from this, so it's electrified and all set up. Do we have health care? We kind of don't. It's a little bit odd. All right. Well, let's fix that. We'll have to put in a smaller hospital. Of course, the game won't let... Well, it kind of will let me do it. But I don't have to be off the beaten path. Ah, we'll put... I've got to put it more up over here-ish. All right, we'll do it. Sure, why not? There are grounds that I can put it... Make it powered and all that. All right, and then we're all set. So that is good. Everything over here is good and ready to go for when the people show up. Nice. So, about that airport I was telling y'all about. Ladies and gentlemen... I forgot something. Oh, you. You forgot to check on schooling. Right now, let's see. Well, the university is starting to get overcrowded. Oh, not the beach volleyball club. How oh, shame. The horror. <laughs> the horror. No, I mean, we can put in one more dormitory, I suppose. Since things are getting a little bit tight over there. There we go. I'm sure the people won't mind as long as nobody tries to burn down the beach volleyball club. Seriously. I, I, what have I told y'all in Chester Trade School about holding drunken frat parties? Come on. Have some more common sense. Or I will send you to the oil mill. Or oil. You, you, you know what I was trying to get at. Anyways, moving on. About that airport I was talking to y'all about. So this would mark the very first time that I have ever busted out the airport mod. Or at least the airport thing itself. Now, I want this to be a simple passenger airport. That's really all I want. And then it'll all have it go up and level slowly. The trick is to kind of see how much room we could possibly you need out of this whole thing. There's a small strip of land over here that's just about right for an airport, and it's got highway and rail access. So this will work out just nicely. So I'm going to overdo this intentionally, but you'll, you'll see what I'm getting at. Now, the land has to be flat, so we're about to cause some uh, land headaches, but I am not going to be worried about that whatsoever. Okay, I have to double just double check. What I can do is I'll outline it with the road over here. Kind of where I want the airport, so that way when I zone this, I don't screw it up. I'm looking at a topographical map and not the actual airport itself. All right. Got it. It's literally right over here. So I, I'm going to screw this up. I know I will. But no, no doubt about it. Now watch. We will landscape first. Oh, of course. I see what it's doing right there. So naturally, you have to get rid of the soil, of course. Yeah, because the game automatically terraforms it for you. And you can kind of see where the trees are. We'll delete that um, thing in just a second, but I would just like for it to... Okay, get rid of more of that. With that, we now have our basic outline. 
Now it's just a matter of filling everything in while getting rid of the soil that no doubt going to cause a headache here. And there you go. We did it. We now have our airport established. I can get rid of these roads. That was just temporary. And say hello to Willow Metropolitan Airport. I, that looks a lot bigger than it probably will be. But I suppose we can start off with a big airport and then work our way down. If need be. Again, we have rail access. We have highway access. Both of them are going to come in handy here. So let's just start off with the beginning. Now, uh, again, I am doing this for the very first time. So something is probably going to go wrong. And by something that by that, I mean, of course it will. We should probably have the highway fo focusing that way. Have yeah, maybe the runways go out this way. Maybe a small little hotel area. So by default, I'd say right about there. And there it is, folks. We got our first airport. And you can see, we got kind of the um, first level things. Of course, our uh, airport access. So we'll build the um, rail and um, highway connections inevitably. But we will try to make this as nice as we possibly can here. Uh, you know what? Shut that down. I don't need to be spending 1200 a week. <laughs> we'll deal with water and power in a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Basically, we have our concourses, and these are kind of like our... Um... We'll do two for right now. Build them up to about there. This is a little bit of a starter. Um, we, of course, have more modern terminals, but we'll start with the classic because that's what we kind of chose. And then these are kind of how this works. So you get a taxi cab and a small aircraft stand for our plane, so... And these just fit right on the concourse, like so. Let's do three on each side. I think from a taxiway standpoint, we can get that, so we'll do four. And this one has a bit more. This side has a bit more room than this one, so we'll just leave it as is. Of course, you're all going to demand power and water, duh. All right. To make this easier on myself here, I'm going to try to line these up as, like so. It might help a lot if I do that. Again, bear with me. This is the very, 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 very first time I am doing this, so you're going to have to bear with me on this. Oh, this is a one-way? What? Oh, I see how this works now, huh? Of course. Thwomp, thwomp. Um, let's see. Now, again, this is a passenger airport. You know what? With that being said, let me do just two. We'll do just two for right now. Two on each side. In fact, what I'll do... You know what? I got an idea. We'll make one for departures and one for arrivals. Okay, I got it now. Once again, it bears repeating that I have never used this mod. I mean, DLC, excuse me. This is not a mod. This is a DLC, mind you. I've never used it before, and uh, this is kind of a trial by fire, so... <laughs> it, it's gonna... some wacky stuff is gonna start happening. I know, again, I need power and water, but I, that's... Okay, fine. You know what? That, that is kind of annoying me a little bit, so here. Here, let me fix that problem. Happy? There, there's your electricity. 
Don't come at me again. Water, we can get that too. I know, there's a lot of crime there, but we have no flight, so there. I love how the crime rate is high all of a sudden. Like, who's visiting this airport? Jeez. Good grief. Alright, anyways. So, I'm going to use this side for departures. So, this should be how this works. Um, hmm. <clears throat> I may need to, I think I do need to make this concourse a little bit further away. Okay, hang on. Again, this is trial by fire here. So you want to have these further out. That is definitely not what I'm looking for. Okay. Although, you know, could have a one spot for, um, Another one. I suppose there's no shame in having two. Alright. I know that looks a little awkward, but uh, that's a bit. There we go. Where's the small taxi stand again? Where is it? Small aircraft stand, there it is. Booyah! Ah. Well, we can, all, oh, we can always expand it out a little bit more. This is, again, trial by fire, so if we take our airport zone here, and we add to it like such. I don't think we're going to add do too much to the industry, but this is just to add a few more spaces to it. There we go. Like I said, this could... Pro you know what? We'll make this the departure one. It's a little too steep. What? Hmm, apparently there's a, uh, a little... Game just wanna throws me curveballs, don't you? Huh? Yeah, I see what you want. You're doing there. You're, you're trying to throw me a curveball so that I can't get this off. Okay. Okay. So there should be enough room for all of us. So we'll link these guys up. Like such. And say right about here. Grass it and then have one runway go this way. Or we can delete this and I can put in the runway over here. We'll do two. One runway is going to go this way. The other runway will come this way. And then we can have our taxiway. And we can have some plane parking too. Okay, so I'm just checking this out here. We're just getting the basics set up over here. So, by, with that being said, we now have our taxiway over here established. You can kind of see where the planes are now entering and exiting. I can barely see because of the purple color over here. That is awesome. Bruh. And now we just flip it to the appropriate way, like that. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have our airport now set up. 
at least a run from a one runway perspective we can. Um, let's put a fancy little control tower right in the center here. Must be placed on a... Wait, what is this? Oh, classic control tower. I gotcha. Alright, since we're not going to have anything over here, we might as well put it there. Why does it need a concourse? That's my next question. Bruh. I know how airports work. That's that's uh, <laughs> kind of out there. Suppose we can have plane parking off to the side. So let me just shape this out the way it needs to be. Up, oh, I can see our. Pl I haven't even opened the airport, and we've already got flights coming out. Bruh. Those planes are literally not going to have anything, buddy, on them. What in the world? Okay, the game's already, like, way ahead of me. That's awesome. We'll deal with that in a little bit. Um, I suppose in the event we need it, and I know this isn't really equal over here. In the event we kind of need it, I guess if anybody wants to take off, this may actually makes sense to do this, too. Where is it? Taxiway. There we go. I'll make one taxiway go connect it. That way, if any plane wants to use this park over here, wants to take off, so be it. Which brings me to my next magic trick. Or in this case, why not? Plane parking! Gotta have plane parking. Ah, so it can be snapped to taxiways. Okay. Do park planes here and there. Uh, I don't really have any special mods going on here, so... Mm, can't really decorate the concourse. What do we got here? An airport bus station. Ah, for our buses. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. I don't know if there's any train stations to... Oh, there we go. Okay, so when we reach level 3, we can really have some fun with this. All right. And then, of course, we have the luxury budget airport hotel. Speaking of roads, we should probably have that all ready set up here. I'm not going to worry about the trains for right now, just simply because, you know... We're not ready for those, so... The question is, what highway would be better off having this? This one? Or the other one? This is kind of our main highway, and this is kind of our uh, more... I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter which one. I would... You know what? Let's do this one. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have another highway prep. Well... You know what? First things first. I just noticed this, and this might not be a bad idea. We're going to slowly do in some more residential over here. Oop, I forgot a couple spaces over here. Do I really want these to be commercial? Yes. Okay. Oh, why not? This whole block. This whole block, I choose you. Why not? We'll keep the square to itself. There we go. You know what? We'll do this one too. Why not? There you are. We got that already. Um, I actually should zone more commercial, if I'm being honest. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we go. This is going to be more of a commercial sector, too, and it has to be due to the trains. Otherwise, residents are not going to like living next to those, I, I can assure you. So I might as well just do the honors right now. Well, we'll put some on this side, and that's as far as I'm willing to go. I don't want to overdo it, otherwise the game will go absolutely nuts on me. Here's what we're going to do. Go back to this for a minute. 
build kind of a highway. I know we have our power plants hidden over here, which is going to make this a little bit more difficult. All right, never mind. We're, I've decided it. Oh, but there's a train line over here. I suppose as long as we're, you know, not destroying this too much, we'll be fine. I don't want to build close because of the power plants that are over here. I still don't know what's going to happen to this district, by the way, just as an FYI. All right, this highway it is, just for schematic purposes. build a nice little highway going in and out. It's gonna have to leapfrog over the train tracks. But that's okay, because I can create a new highway exit just based off of that. And then... I'll have the highway drift right into the, the um, zone over here. And then from here, where's my six-lane road? Here it is. And then we'll have at traffic slow down to a crawl. As this is kind of where the airport space will, you know, be. This is so hard building this at night, by the way. Not for nothing. I have no clue where, you know, anything is at the moment. It's like, oh boy. Ah, uh, see, I did overdo it. All right. Remember how I was saying earlier I might overdo my um, airport area? Well, I just did. Um, so we'll get rid of this little space right here. I guess in a... Yeah, because we have to build our airport buildings in here. That's kind of the idea. So I'll have this highway go loop around. Connect to our two roads. Have one go this way, and then inevitably... Well, then if that's the case, I should probably be deleting this and kind of reworking that, so... Let us do this. Like I said, this is my first foray, foray into this. Oh, thank God, now we can actually see. Well, that took long enough. So we'll build the highway out to where it kind of ends. Right there, and then that's kind of where the highway is going to stop. I don't want this to be a highway all the way around. We'll have the approach be on this end. Okay. And then we'll have our... I guess you could call it a bypass. Yeah, we might as well have the bypass over here. Um... So there you go. There's your bypass, quote-unquote. Just in case the people need to return to the terminal. I'm going to have hotels and stuff over here. We'll make a tree line so that it looks a lot nicer. Okay, and then from there... Going to have the six-lane road diverge. We have another road line going across. It'll help direct traffic. Connect both our terminals. Um, where is it? This could be where the future train station goes, by the way. Not for nothing. And that actually might not be a bad idea. So now what we do, actually, we should make that a one-way street. I, I wasn't thinking. Oopsies.
like that. So now, we just take our main six line road. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to think how to do this, my bad. <laughs> how do I accurately do this? Without going insane. Assuming I haven't already. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. There's a way I want to do this. How about that? I know that doesn't look good, but so be it. That. And where is it? Oh, yeah, that. And where is it? Okay, I screwed this up. My bad. There it is. There we go. And then you come back. Thank God this isn't like trains where it just, you know. There we are. We take this one. Build it there. We'll take this road. Connect it to this if the game would let me. Oh boy. Alright, fine. Have it your way. <gasps> Stupid game. Alright, don't make me get the anarchy tool. Fine, I'm getting the anarchy tool. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I didn't ask for that, but you know, you, you, you played my hand there, game. Uh, that is not what I'm looking for. Oopsies. And there we go. And then the highway, basically at this juncture. Like it's counter powder on the other side. Oh, nice and that's brilliant. There we go. Fix that problem. Okay, so like it's counter powder, it will go that way. And there we go. So now we need just services over here. Uh, we need a fire station in case the whole thing burns down. Police station because everybody's gonna get rowdy. You know those angry travelers. They get they don't like it when something goes wrong. That's somebody complaining about their flight, and next thing you know, all hell breaks loose. Oh wait, that's where I wanted to have the um Alright. Better idea. Hold on. Where's the gravel road over here? Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I got a better idea. Suppose doing this might be, not be a bad option either. Where's that waste transfer station? There it is. Um. Excuse me? Okay, fine. Have it your way. <sighs> there we go. See, it, it wants to be emptied, so naturally it's going to, you know, be picky about it. All right, fine. 
I want to move it over here. We'll do this one. Because this is where I want my train station to be. Basically. And then... I was going to do a parking garage, but I realized that's probably not the best idea. Um, At this point, let's do... Where is... Hold on. Tree Line Street. Where are you? Come on down. There you are. And I guess this is where our hotels and stuff will be. And we will use the special hotels on this one. So we'll put two little budget hotels over here. And just because this, I'm feeling generous, we'll also give this some convenient parking. Oh, wait, that's where the train station's going. Never mind. There we go. The game's trying to overrule me here. Okay! Ugh. The mod's kind of screwing me over here. I have a mod over here. Fine, jeez. Hold on. There you go. Nice try. Try now. Now do it. Now do it. I dare you. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Game was trying to overrule me there. That was the my uh, mod in action there. <laughs> I was like, no, you can't do that. Bruh, stop. Stop embarrassing yourself. Anyways. There you have it. We now have our air the very first part of our airport done. Now. We actually have some cool policies in tap, too, like hotel discounts. If we want to add some attractiveness, but we've already got enough. Car rentals for the city. And great maintenance, which can add land value. We do not have access to our airline just yet. We got to get it to level three. Once we do that, we can actually start, you know generating some uh, revenue here. Now, as you can see, this is turning into a money-sucking kind of uh, endeavor, unfortunately. Wait, oh, I screwed up. Hang on. One moment. All right. Now you're good. Police, what are you doing? Hold on. Our, our cops are just, like, apparently not realizing there's a lot of stuff things going on over here. Oh, that's uh, not some good. Hold on. Sorry. Ah, there we go. And then finally, the last part of this, because I definitely did not forget the highway entrances. We gotta have highway entrances, because how else is this gonna work? There we go. That's better. And our airport, with that being said, is now effectively open for business. Kind of. Again, what are our cops doing? Bruh, we got angry. There's not even a traveler over here, and it says the crime rate is high. Never mind. Never mind. So there we go. Our airport is now open for business. And look at that. I know. It does. <laughs> Again, it's kind of basic, but you need kind of enough room to pull this off. So as time rolls on, I will add in some more stuff. Again, we got to have passengers and we got to have attractiveness. So the passengers will come in. We only have 33, but so be it. I know they're... And of course, we're losing money on this, but that's not an issue. So there we go. We got the airport finally set up. And now, at this point, the goal is to try to get it up to level... 
as far as we can as we can. There are three levels to this. So once we get it up to level three, we're good. So we're just going to have to wait for passengers at this point. Um, we need to get this moving along, but we're still short on workers. So uh, as part of my last act, I guess, for this episode. Throw in a few more small pl tree plantations. We gotta get this moving along here. I'm getting impatient. The shareholders are probably getting impatient too. It's not pretty. <laughs> I will start catching flack again. And it will not be funny. <laughs> Maybe to you guys, but not for me. Can do one more petroleum and plastics kind of thing too while we're at it. There we go. And then if we move to the iron mill, it's basically the same thing, right? Yeah. Same general idea over here. And I'll build a metals thing. Actually, I need to do one final thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. And right away, we got a level three. Isn't that wonderful? That, that was convenient. Good. Going great. We actually could use some storage over here, too. Not for nothing. I didn't even... Kind of neglected that. Then if you go over here, where's our sawmill or forestry main building? That is not what I want. Um, oopsies, I didn't really extend this out as far as I should. Not bad. Because we want it to be in here. We want to incorporate this area for when we have more buildings. Like say, right about now. And then a nice little storage area for this. And that should do the trick. And now that we've gotten this up to level 3, what else do we have? What else? Ah, we can put barracks over here. Sweet. Set you right... Let's see. We'll set one over here, right across from our main building. Over here, right across the street. Throwing a few more large oil pumps. Just to get us started. Well, that's a small drilling rig. Ah, oh, silly me. What else can we build? Oil storage for our industry. Okay, we'll build one right here. Well, there's one right next door and a crude cavern right next to it. All right, there we go. So that'll take some time. We need the workers for that. And so that's going to do it. So I know it wasn't really productive, but again, this was the first time getting my um, oil product, my, not oil production, excuse me, airport moving along here. Hang on, let me just finish this off real quick. Commercial areas needing a more space. People want to shop, I guess. Okay, give them what they want. There we go. Actually, I don't really need those power lines anymore if I'm... Well, I still do for right now. Okay, we'll keep them. You gotta give the people what they want. Ooh, that's not good. Alright, I think everything is so... Well, let's finally do one last check. Ah, uh, we do need some more electricity. That's what I thought. Something was going to go wrong. Um, can we fit one more of the updrafts? I like these. They're nice and efficient. No, said the game. You cannot do such a thing. Hmm. Okay, fine. We'll get dirty. Any way you can do it, all right? There we go. And one more power plant to the mix, and that should do the trick. 
There we go. We, we got it. And water looks good, too. Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> so that's going to do it for me for this episode. So we'll just let this bad boy go nuts. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cops are not doing their job. Tiss, tiss, tiss. See if anybody uses the airport for right now. I can see some traffic, but not really too much. So we'll, we'll let that continue onward. So I guess next up will be the Harbor District. Should finally get that rolling, because how else are we going to be exporting stuff? And then hopefully by the time this is all done, this, this, and that will go to level 5. But thankfully we have something to fall back on, so if all else fails, we can just do that. So I'm going to end the episode right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Well, you know what to do on the way out, and I will see you in the next time. Ah, uh, I liked it better when this was six figures. I've lost my touch. Oh, uh, I, I might hear it when I get back. You know, shareholder meetings, they get a little bit too rowdy for my own good. Till next time. <laughs>